Hi friends and welcome back to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. This is Caitlin and today we are going to be working on cleaning and refilling a couple of our Copic markers. So we're going to go through this whole process twice. It's super easy, super simple. Um, I am just going to show you real life. This is my E57. It has seen better days, my friends. It is a very well-loved marker. You can see the inside of my caps are super gross and gunked up. The outside of the bottom parts of my marker, those the um, where the nibs are, has also gotten super gross. So we are going to use some 91% alcohol. The 70 works pretty well too, but the higher the percentage you can get your hands on, the easier and the better it's going to work. Um, so I am taking a little bit of my alcohol on a paper towel and just using that to rub any of that excess ink buildup off of the edges of my markers. You could wear gloves for this if you're very concerned. The alcohol ink can stain your fingers or your skin a little bit, but I wasn't really worried. So what I like to do to clean the inside of my caps is roll up my paper towel, add a little bit of alcohol into a small dish or a little bowl or something, a little pinch pot, and dip my paper towel in. And then I can just use that to tuck right into the cap and kind of swish that around. I've also seen a lot of people use Q-tips for this. Definitely use whatever makes you feel more comfortable. But for me, I know that I can get multiple markers out of a single paper towel. So I feel like it's worth it for me to just go that route. That's what I've gotten used to over the last couple of years. So you really want to make sure that you get as much of that ink buildup from the inside of your caps as well as around the uh, area where your caps sit. This will directly affect the seal that your marker has on it and will definitely affect how quickly your marker is drying out or not. So I'm gonna go in with my Copic tweezers and pull out the broad side, that chisel tip. It's super easy to do. You just clamp onto the nib and pull it straight up. Then I'm gonna take one of my refills. I've seen lots of people talk about doing this by weight. I just eyeball it. I know that this marker is so dry. I should have swatched it beforehand, Trust me, if I had, um, it'd be really bad. It's really almost completely dried out. I would definitely recommend not letting your markers get this dry. Um, if your marker does completely dry out, sometimes the nibs will get too dry as well, and it can be hard or impossible almost to revive your brush nib. You can get replacement nibs if that's a concern, but it's much easier if you just upkeep your markers on cleanings and refills, and then you won't have to worry about replacing any of your nibs. So I am just going in with a couple lines worth of this ink, kind of taking my time. I want to make sure that I'm not overflowing uh, ink out of the top. I have never had that happen, but it's still <laughs> in the back of my mind that if I squeeze these bottles too fast that that, I guess, could happen. Um, so once I feel good about how much ink is in there, I'm going to use the tweezers to place the chisel tip right back in. You want to make sure that you grip it as straight as you can to push down. Then I'm going to go back in with my paper towel and just clean up any little drips or anything that may have happened. And then the trick is you want to lay your marker down flat for at least a couple minutes. I've heard that it's okay to store your markers horizontally or vertically as far as like normal storage goes, but when you're refilling, it is really good to leave them flat for at least the first couple minutes so that the ink can e evenly disperse between the chisel tip and the brush tip of your marker. So I'm going to let that marker sit for just a couple minutes, and we are going to go in with my E43 and give this one some love. So this one is definitely not as dried out as the other marker. I did do a pre-swatch so that we can see the difference, though, and you will see a difference. I am going to start by the same process, taking off both of my caps, kind of assessing the situation dipping into my alcohol and then kind of just wiping down both edges. This marker, like I said, is still very well loved, but it is not quite as out of control as that E57. 
I'm almost ashamed, but I thought it was really important to share with you guys like a realistic look as somebody who colors with their Copics probably four to five days minimum a week. Like this is real life. I should make more time to clean my markers. It's definitely something that I'm going to try to do better with, especially going into the fall. I feel like the summertime just gets so crazy, um, but this is the perfect time of year to kind of reset, go through your refills, go through your markers, see what needs some love, give everybody a good cleaning. I also like to use a little bit of that alcohol to clean off my tweezers between colors just in case so you don't transfer any weird inks onto your chisel tip and then same thing pull that straight up and out we're going to add way less ink to this one it needs a little refill and a little love but it doesn't need to be filled all the way it was still doing pretty good so this time i'm only going to do like from one line to the next line i would say always err on the side of less let your marker sit flat swatch it and then if you need to you can always go back in and add a little more if you add too much what's going to happen is you're going to flood the brush nib and when you go to color you're going to have to remove both lids so that you're not dripping ink out of your brush tip marker once i let these sit like i said for just a couple minutes i'm going to swatch my 57 to make sure it's giving me a really good color payoff and it is it looks so much better now you guys so I feel really confident about the ink level in that one and I'm also going to swatch my 53 and you'll see even from just sitting for a minute how much more pigmented and impactful that ink is so I hope this made a lot of sense I hope this inspires you to get to cleaning and organizing your Copic collection Thank you so much for coming to hang out. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and check out Scrapbook Pal's blog for even more information. I will see you guys soon. And until then, happy crafting.